take action. It is Suleiman Nasser reporting from Sokoto for Arise News. It was business as usual, as most residents in Ado Ikiti went about their normal activities, except corporate organizations and businesses who shut their services to customers. There was no compliance to the nationwide planned protest in Ikiti State. Addressing newsmen while monitoring the security situation in the state capitol, the commissioner of police in Ikiti State's command, Akindele Adeniron, said no group had indicated interest in the proposed protest in the state. He also added that the state is peaceful and calm, and also the Yoruba leaders of thought, well, they have condemned the planned nationwide protest in Ikiti State as well, saying it will disrupt the livelihood and civil activities of citizens. The leaders of youth in the state described the protest as a constitutional right of the citizens and enjoined protesters to embrace peace for the development of the country. The assessment through my observation patrol is that the state is relatively peaceful and people are going about their normal business with that because number one, the security we are in place on the ground is to ensure that we protect the interests of everybody. Even if there is a protest, even if there is any protest, whether peaceful or not, we are here to provide security for all and sundry. But we thank God there is no violent protest. We, the student leaders of Equity State, hereby disassociate ourselves from the planned faceless peaceful protest that may lead to riots and destructions. Why we acknowledge the current Hardship faced by our students and the general public, we urge everyone to remain calm and peaceful. We believe in engagement in the government diplomatically to address our concern rather than resorting to the protest that may escalate into violence. By the time you are planning a protest to last for 10 days, there is no doubt that normal, ordinary livelihood in the way we know it will be disrupted. Now, if you are in favor, if you are doing so in support of people that are hungry, there is no way you will tell them to go hungry for those 10 days and not pursue their daily duties. There is no way you can disrupt civil activities and civil society for 10 days without it degenerating into unanticipated and undesirable outcomes. Residents of Uma here, the Abia State capital, did not join the nationwide protest that began across Nigeria on Thursday.